just upgraded my 7.2.4 system to Focal Arias. Ooh, nice. Ooh, uh, what do you guys think about the RHEL 3D system versus standard dual subwoofer for setup? Okay. I know what they're talking about. Do you guys know what they're talking about? I do not. So RHEL has this uh, 3D system. Um, Let's ask where they wire it real different. Was that? Yeah, that's the normal that thing. They oh. wire it like with their what is it called their line levels mm -hmm. um like but their amplifier. 3d is they just imagine having a full range speaker for all your speakers mm -hmm. meaning you would add a sub to your center channel mm -hmm. right you would add a sub to your left add a sub to your right add a sub to your surrounds mm -hmm. or something like that um i mean i Running a full range center would be kind of cool, but yeah. I mean, you know, I don't know. Um, and people who have you know acoustically transparent screens can can do that if yeah. they. I mean, they've got the space to do that. Otherwise, yeah. yeah, you just don't have the space. Are you a believer in having a sub for every speaker? That that's the way to go. Who me? I don't know. Everybody. Oh, everybody. I don't think so. No, I, I would say stick with the standard two LFE channels and because I think one. that that um I think you're saying or you're implying that the bass is localizable, right? That's that's the reason why you'd want it. Like, oh, I want left channel bass, I want center channel bass, and I want yeah, right. Yeah, I don't, I, want, I, I don't know. Sound stage is kind of. I mean, what I'm getting I, from. if I just had a st if I had like some towers left and mm -hmm. right that would dig deep <clears throat> let's say let's say 30 hertz mm -hmm. right and my center was just a standard horizontal center with like five and a quarter inch drivers mm -hmm. we're gonna get to 30 no we're gonna get to 60 maybe okay. 70 right? All, right. all right adding that extra 30 mm -hmm. there for like you know like a john wick type movie a lot mm -hmm. of smacking a lot of gunshots a lot of a lot of stuff coming out of the center channel mm -hmm. um that might be cool I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know, and how would that extra bass from another subwoofer for just the center channel be integrated properly with the rest of the setup? That'd be a lot more complex to set up too, because you're talking yeah, right? minimum of five subwoofers, seven subwoofers. Well, okay, subwoofers. Wait, let's 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 not get into like fuck crazy subwoofer land. <laughs> let's let's just try. Let's just I mean, try. We have you're one talking about the LCR? LCR channel. Yeah, or or just okay. LCRs, or just or just adding more oomph to that center channel right mm, not, yeah. i'm not a believer i don't, you know what i think rel will probably never send me anything yeah because like probably a lot of the stuff that they put out i'm just not a i'm not i just wonder i don't I buy mean, it i don't buy are it they, are they trying to to make themselves so different from everybody else so that they stand out you know what i mean like the way they hook everything up they're i mean and i'm sure they believe it but I'm not sure. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of it. like high five people that, you know, want to have, want to impart the sound signature from the amplifier that they're sending to their main speakers. They want to, they want to impart that sound signature to their subwoofers too, because mm -hmm. I think that their you know? specialty is really for the two channel hi fi guy who doesn't want to use DSP. Yeah. Like, how do they? How do they get that person to buy more subs, right? That person is, probably doesn't want to buy subs in the first place because they, you know, they're they think that's like for home theater a lot of times. Yeah. And I'm stereotyping, of course. There's some people who do, right? But I think that that's kind of their demographic is like the two channel uh, crowd. And uh, I don't know. I just don't think that that's sound ed sound advice, audio advice, right? Um, I don't think it's good advice because. Do they put the sub right next to the speaker, like underneath? Yeah, it? I don't, I don't know like, where you would do that. Dude. I don't know. I don't know. It on it, like I've seen, know, what some, is it? like I saw their um their article about it, and it's just they just have it as sub, like over. Here. I mean, I would, I would be glad to have one of those guys on, and you know, talk it out. And talk if I'm it. wrong, then I'm wrong, right? But I don't think so. I think, I think what's actually happening is they're saying you're going to get stereo bass, and I, I think I've read this article. I think they're saying that you can have stereo bass. Yeah, not uh, yeah. Just basically, you know, you have a sub for each each speaker, but I mean, bass is not localizable below a certain frequency. Now, wouldn't you have to have a um, a higher end processor as well? 
like I know some of the higher end. So, so one of the things that they were stuff. telling me is that different AV receivers won't let you run a full channel center or full range center. Mm. So that also has to like line up there. So, so Charles, I would say to answer your question, mm. Hey, I love the Focal Arias, man. They're, they rock. I have a full setup here. Joe actually just tuned him and we took measurements and he's just like, Hey, this is yeah. starting out a good speaker. So this is going to sound great. Um, I would say just just rock um, your point to your your subwoofers as a as just standard. Well, the, I, mean, yeah. I think I think it's best to put the subs in optimal places. Also, yeah. So, you know, I think the danger is in saying, "Oh, this sub needs to be by the left because it's a left channel sub, and this needs to be in the center." That might not be a good place for those subs. Subs, right? right? I mean, we were talking about how behind the seat is a good place a lot of times. Right, near field sub is a good alternative a lot of times. So, I would say it's more important to put the sub in optimal places mm -hmm. yeah. rather than trying to think about it as uh, you know per channel. Right, that's just me. That's what I think. Um, but yeah, if these guys, you know, we should have somebody from Rel on. You know, yeah, I'll hit them up. Maybe see. they can they can tell us like, hey, this is why you should do it. I'm going to say why I don't agree, and then they might not be back again. They won't ever come back again. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think if their whole thing is just, we're going to take your regular old speakers and turn them into full range, okay, right? Like, But that doesn't seem to be it. Because if that were it, then that would, that would be it. And then you would either be like, yeah, okay, I can benefit from that, or it doesn't really matter to me. And I'll just use my speakers crossed over 80 hertz like I normally would. And that's what the that's what the conversation becomes at that point, mm -hmm. right? So I feel like they think they're doing something different. And by the way, they did actually reach out to me and see if I would be interested in testing some of their subs. Mm. Oh, there you so, go. So which I thought was interesting. And then I replied back and then I didn't hear anything. And I was like, uh, I'll try again. So we'll see. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. interesting, right? I'm sure they believe that this is the best way, you know. It could be, yeah, I mean, to have a discussion. I guess, like, you know, in an ideal world, it would be cool to have full range speakers all around, but I think that's not realistic for most people, you know. And then, and then it's like, well, do you really benefit from having full range left, center, and right? Is it, is it that big of a deal? Or, you know, like Joe was saying, then you can, if it was separate subwoofer, you have the uh, ability to put them wherever you need to, to help smooth out the base in the room. And I think that's probably the better way to go anyway. But yeah, I don't know. And and just so you guys know, the people who are watching, I've actually experienced a system that was set up in that way, not with rel subs, but when I went to Sound United, they did have the Bowers and Wilkins and each, mm -hmm. each sub, each channel had its own sub. And so each channel was good down to 18 hertz or something like that. Right, so left, center, every every channel, even the surrounds, uh, had a sub, and I mean nothing about it made me think like, oh man, I need to do that with my system. You know, it sounded like a system that had a lot of bass. Well, <laughs> no, then, like it, it, there the were actually issues. To be honest, like there was there were some issues where I'm like, oh, there's some cancellation going on over here, and I mm -hmm. I told I told uh, Phil like, hey man. Well, I think you guys should do some multi-sub optimizer here because you guys have two rows of seats and it sounds cool right here, but over here, the floor is shaking and I'm not hearing anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like I was in a weird spot where maybe mm -hmm. I was only getting sound from certain subs and oh, maybe well, cancellation from another set. So that, that was the uh, mother-in-law seat. That's yeah. yeah, there you go. That's what it was. I think the other thing too is if you're going to integrate a subwoofer into like a floor standing speaker... You know, so we already know that it's not easy. We were just talking about phase relationships and then that arc, you know, being able to align the phase at the crossover region. But then if you start adding subwoofers to every speaker, you know what I mean? Like to me, that that's more potential for having issues. More, more not. issues, yeah. It's complicated. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think the great thing about having a separate subwoofer is that you can place it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You can place yeah. it in a more optimal location and still have the mid-range coming out, you know. Where it's supposed to, yeah. But the base doesn't really work the same way. So, yeah, interesting. I would like to talk it out with them. All right. If you would like to join us every week on Mondays at what time is it? 
about 6 p.m. Central, which is the best time. That's where I am. Make sure you join us at youtube.com slash daily high five. We out.